it's a tantalizing connection for us to pursue disorders beyond ADHD for several reasons. One, um, if we're correct and the inappropriate control of the dopamine transporter is um, a part of what is happening in ADHD, we have to remember that uh, other behaviors and other behavioral disorders have long been studied uh, for uh, a contribution of dopamine to them. Um, bipolar disorder and mania particularly, and schizophrenia, for example, schizophrenia is treated with drugs that can block the actions of dopamine. So on the one hand, we have ADHD, which is treated with drugs um, that affect the ability of the neuron to get rid of dopamine, and you have schizophrenia, which is treated with drugs to prevent the actions of dopamine. So it's possible that there may be some common mechanisms underlying both disorders, and epidemiologically, there's certainly very clear evidence that ADHD and bipolar disorder um, run in families together. Uh, in fact, the, the mutation that we found in the two boys, um, one of the reasons why we held on to studies of it uh, in the face of very normal data when we initially investigated it was that it had been found once before in a child with bipolar disorder. And that was too much a coincidence for us. Uh, we've been studying rare genetic variants uh, for some time in these proteins and similar proteins. And um, you know how low the probability is that you will find one in the first place. And to find it twice, or essentially to have the field find it twice in disorders where there is a statistical relationship between them was too strong for us to let it go. And so we pursued our studies beyond the initial work uh, to eventually find this uh, novel property that they cause.